Hi, this is Lou from Glowing Pigs International, and we're on our fifth tutorial here where we're showing you how to code an app that plays music in a service. The reason you want to do this is so that a person can play some music, go to another app, or go get their email, or go surf the web, and your music will continue to play. And if you remember, this is the app as it works. It's running this service now and it's playing music and then we stop it now what we worried about in this tutorial is what do we do when a phone call comes in what we would like to do is pause the music for as long as the phone call takes and then when the person hangs up the music picks up where it left off so I'm going to show you how to do that right now uh, we're going to deal with something called telephony manager so the first thing we have to do to make this work is we have to add a uses permission in the uh, manifest.xml file and it's called read underscore phone underscore state underscore and so uh, add that into your manifest file next thing we need to do we put a couple of actually three variables in here is paused and call is a boolean and then two that deal with the telephony manager a, f a phone state listener and a tel an instance of the telephony manager next thing we want to do is when the service starts we want it to right away set up everything to listen for what's going to happen with the phone so we're going to plug in this code here and uh you may have to import a telephony manager class library and a call state class library. I've already got them in here, up here. See, telephony phone state listener and telephony manager. So uh, once you do that, though, this is the code you have to put in. <laughs> I have these log V tags because you can use them in order to uh, debug if it'll tell you you know what's going on at each step of the way um, so these are really debugging statements here so the first thing you want to do is set up an instance of your telephony manager and you want to get the service telephony underscore service next thing you want to do is set up your phone state listener set up an instance of it and then you're using this method on call state changed and you're monitoring the state so we have a switch which says if the state is call state off hook or call state ringing then we if the media player is not null we want to pause it and set the boolean paused in call to true if the call state is idle meaning the phone is now on the hook then if the media player is not null if it's paused in call we want to set pause and call to false and play the media. So that's basically it. And then he, down here we have to tell the telephony manager to listen to the call state. So we're saying that phone state listener we created, we want it to listen to the call state. These are all uh, actions associated with the phone state listener. Now one thing we added down here because we didn't have it before is a pause media method basically it's a very simple method it says if the media player is playing pause it that's all you're doing there so that's going to be invoked uh, if a call comes in now there's a c couple of other little things we need to do in our on destroy we need to uh, we need to get rid of the phone state listener so because we don't want it listening if the service is gone the listening should end you want to be cleaning up here so we're going to plug in this bit of code here what we're saying is if the phone state listener is not null meaning it's there then we want to set it to listen underscore none which will mean it's not going to be listening anymore and that's just a little cleanup that you have to do. And basically then I think we've got everything we need. And we can run this. And I'll show you how you test this. 
what you have to do is you have to bring up another window. So I'll say show view and we go to other and see there's something called emulator control. So we're going to bring up that window and I'll pull it over here. What you do is you put some any fake in, you know uh, telephone number in there and what we can do is I, I'm running this now in the emulator and we can simulate a call so I'm gonna play I believe in love and you can hear it playing okay now I'm just gonna move this here for a second All right, so it sounded pretty good. And now somebody calls me. And you'll see it stopped playing, right? It paused. And you see an incoming call. And we talked for a while. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Uh, I want to talk to you, but I got some good music playing, so I'm going to hang up. So now we're going to end the call. And there's the music back. So that's it. Uh, that's another way to make your application better. And as we move forward, we're going to look at things in the next tutorials about, you know, if you have your headphone plugged in and you pull it out, you want the music to stop playing when you pull your headphone out of the jack. So that's another thing. And then another thing we want to add in a later tutorial is, if you notice, there's a little bit of a pause before this plays because there's some buffering going on. See if I hit that a couple of minutes, seconds before it plays, what we'd like to do is pop up a window that tells you that it's buffering the song. So I'll show you how to do that and more in coming upcoming tutorials. See you next time.